All right, it's another one of those cheaply made videos that will upload quickly while another video is processing. So, on YouTube, I was searching for the terms gay men owe feminism and was just seeing what would come up. And there is a video that came up from someone named Anti-Feminist Frequency. He made a video called Why I Don't Associate with Flamboyant Gay Men. And while there are some things that I agreed with him on, uh, there are some other areas that I disagreed with him on. Although, well, I guess it's one of those things, I just realized, just as I was about to say it, I, I'm, I'm realizing, wait a minute, that's, I'm giving one of those arguments of, well, I don't do that, therefore, and that's not really, that's not a very good argument, is it? But I guess I want to say it anyway. Uh, for myself, I don't believe in dressing differently than I normally dress when I go to some sort of gay establishment. Oh, wear your bar drag, so to speak. And I'm like, I don't believe in that. You know, if, if I'm, I'm going to dress, if, if I like the way something looks, then I'm going to wear it when I just go out in general. You know, if, if you're too chicken shit to wear what it is that you like when you go out, I mean, what the hell? And I'm sorry, I'm going to call you chicken shit for that. You know, we, we, unless you're in the deep south, you're in some, the Bible Belt, you're in one of these places where every, everyone around is religious. You know, people can generally dress how they want. Oh, that's a little too sexy. That's a little too sexual oriented. What the hell does that mean? If that's the way you like to dress, then dress that way. I mean, I think it's more ridiculous for someone to go to, you know, oh, I'm going to go to the grocery store wearing a full suit and tie. And why is that any, any uh, better? You know, doing the full suit and tie thing, I mean, that's a lot of work to, to, to wear something like that. So... You know, and it seems just as silly if someone, if wearing a certain outfit for when you go out is considered silly. So, why not dress the way that you want? Why not look the way that you want? Now, I guess some of uh, anti-feminist frequencies' uh, point is that so many of these people don't dress the way that they want when they go out, and they do dress a very specific way when they want to go to the bars. And I, I, I guess I agree with them on that. It's funny, I'm, I was going to make a video talking about how I disagree with them on something, and then I end up agreeing with them on it, just in the middle of making the video. It's, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, I mean, I suppose I could remake this video altogether, but... Um, it's kind of interesting to me when I, when I catch myself in the middle of, of reprocessing something while I'm in the middle of making a video. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> it's a keeper, right? Um, so, that is a weird thing to me, you know? Now, I mean... If we're talking about a leather bar where, you know, all someone is wearing is a, a leather harness or, you know, and a, and, and a jock strap, yeah, that's, that's understandable. But, you know, here in the Northwest, <laughs> I, I, I've rarely, rarely seen that sort of thing. Um, we'd have to have really hot days and hot evenings for someone to be wearing something that's that skimpy. Um, Ren and skimpy. Okay, uh, <laughs> so, you know, I guess I can understand that. But I think it's weird that people don't dress the way that they just like in general. 
I mean, understandable not going to work that way, fine, your work has a dress code, but if you're not somewhere that has a dress code, why the fuck won't you just look the way you want? Um, I don't know, that seems weird to me. Uh, that's always been confusing to me. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's, and it's weird to me right now that, you know, I was starting off making this video saying, well, I don't agree with this guy on, uh, no, I guess I agree with him on this. <laughs> so, um, now, another thing that came up, there's a, uh, uh, video by Soundly Awake called, I'm a feminist because... And he went on about a lot of things. And there's this message about how, you know, people shouldn't be uh, demonizing uh, feminine men. And then he's trying to, to claim that, uh, you know, oh, nobody just, uh, uh, you know, before, uh, just decide suddenly they're going to act really feminine. And I'm like, well, I kind of disagree with that. Uh, I've known a number of people before they came out of the closet and after they came out of the closet and before they, some of these people before they came out of the closet were very masculine and then they come out and they suddenly act like RuPaul. <laughs> now, there's truth to the idea that some people have been hiding things about themselves for a long time and when they come out of the closet it allows them to to let those things out but, I'm sorry, a lot of people, it is an act. People are acting over the top. And to me, that's just as irritating as when guys act macho, I've gotta be macho, yo, yo, G, what's up, yo, what's up? I mean, it's the same, it's, it, it's, it's irritating the same way. Though, the macho thing is a little bit more intimidating because you worry that there might be some sort of potential for violence in there, but, uh, you know, I, I think people should just be themselves. And there are many people who are just naturally feminine, and then people shouldn't have a problem with that. But, just like with Davy Wavy, um, uh, uh, Soundly Awake has this thing where he doesn't want to admit that in the gay community, in the gay male community, there is this push for gay men to be feminine. And many gay men who are not feminine, many gay men who are really masculine, get treated like shit in the community. I've made countless videos, though some of them are not there anymore in that period in late 2014 where I went on a deleting spree, which I really regret. You have no idea how much I regret that. That was a shitty living situation I was in. I want to be positive about everything, and then I went and deleted a bunch of negative videos, but... Um... But I've made several videos about how... I have been to many, many gay establishments, and have heard this many, many times. You know, people having a conversation, and I guess I'm a bit of a <coughs> um, eavesdropper a little bit at times. I, I am. Where I hear people saying, well, I don't trust gay men that aren't at least slightly feminine. And I've been in blatant discussions of this thing. Well, if, if you're afraid to camp, camp it up, I, 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 you have some sort of a problem and you're, you're not, you just don't want to be yourself. What? You know, I, I, that attitude pisses me off. It does. That attitude just pisses me the fuck off. Not everyone is, not every gay man is feminine. The only way that you're going to have that kind of attitude is if you have some sort of, if you have demonized masculinity in your head. And if that's what you're doing, you know, don't be fucking complaining about other people who demonize femininity. If you're demonizing masculinity, then you have no right to complain about people demonizing femininity. Period. That's all I want to say in this video.